hello everyone today i want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have 2 to the power of x plus x is equals to 13 and we solve this problem for the values of x and i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and uh, please you watch this video at the end because in the end i can give you a nice assignment uh, assignment question which is related to this type of problem and you can solve your assignment and uh, give the solution or answer of your assignment into the comment section so uh, now i can uh, give you the solution of this problem and you can understand the solution and you can solve your assignment so now the very first step we are going to do is here first uh, we uh, need to uh, move the term x to the right hand side and it will be written as 2 to the power of x is equals to 13 minus x and here uh, now we divide both of the sides by 2 to the power of x you can do uh, these type of same steps in your assignment okay so now we divide 2 to the power of x uh, on both of the sides and you see here this term is cancelled out by this term and we will get here 1 is equals to here we move this 2 to the power of x to the upside it will be written as 13 minus x into 2 to the power of minus x and now here further in the next step uh, we need more simplifications and uh, it will be written as uh, we have 1 is equals to 13 minus x into 2 to the power of minus x so here i can just uh, solve this problem uh, with the help of lambert w function and now here uh, we first state the lambert w function as in this form you know about that if we have w of a into e to the power of a uh, the output of this type of Lambert W function is equals to A. Okay, if you can apply the W function on this type of expression, you get the output of this function equals to A. So, if I can give you an example of this problem, so uh, you see here if you have W of 3 into E to the power of 3, so this is equals to 3 only. So, now here uh, further in the next step. Uh, we first make uh, this type of same expression in the right hand side of the bar equation and then we can apply here the w function okay so here you see that first uh, we need to see here this is 13 minus x and this is only minus x so we need 13 here so in order to make 13 we will multiply both of the sides by 2 to the power of 13 and it is equals to 2 to the power of 13 equals 13 minus x into 2 to the power of minus x and it is multiplied by 2 to the power of 13 and now further in the next step we have 13 minus x into here uh, we need to add the exponents of these terms and it will be written as 2 to the power of 13 minus x and now you see here these two exponents are same but now uh, in Lambert W function we have the base of this term is our E so here we make, make E in the base of the term so in order to make E we know that we can easily convert any number into the into uh, the logarithmic or exponential form so uh, here uh, we can apply log and anti-log at the same time on this expression only and it will be written as 13 minus x into E to the power of log of 2 to the power of 13 minus x okay and now here we apply uh, the properties of log and we move this exponent in the front of this log and it will be written as 13 minus x into e to the power of this will becomes 13 minus x into log of 2 so you see here we will make the base of e and the exponent of e is 13 minus x into log 2 but here we have only 13 minus x here we need log 2 so in order to make this log 2 we will multiply both of the sides by log 2 so after multiplication of log 2 you will get here log of 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 13 is equals to 13 minus x multiplied by 
log of 2 into e to the power of 13 minus x into log of 2 and now you see here uh, the the exponent of this e is multiplied by here so that uh, now we are ready to apply the lambda w function on both of the sides so that we can apply this w function on both of the sides and it will be written as w of log of 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 13 is equals to w of 13 minus x into log of 2 multiplied by e to the power of 13 minus x into log of 2. So uh, here you see that in the right hand side we can apply the w function and you see here the output of this type of expression is equals to the exponent of e and you see here the exponent of e is 13 minus x into log 2 so that the output of this type of function is equals to 13 minus x into log of 2 and in the left hand side we have w of 2 to the power of 13 into log of 2 so uh, here we can apply the lambda w function and after that because we solve this problem for the values of x so here we need to remove this log 2 from right hand side for this we will divide both of the sides by log 2 so when you divide both of the sides by log 2 you see here this log 2 is cancelled out by this log 2 and we will get here w of 2 to the power of 13 into log of 2 divided by log of 2 equals to this is 13 minus x and because we solve this problem for the values of x and uh, so we move this minus x in the left hand side and we move the term this whole term to the right hand side so we will get x is equals to 13 minus at w of 2 to the power of 13 into log 2 divided by log of 2 so uh, this is the final value of x but now if you can use the online calculator or uh, a wall from alpha function then you can easily get the exact uh, answer of this whole problem you can easily get the exact value of this lambda w function by using the online calculator or wall from alpha function okay so after applying the online calculator we uh, we will get the simplified form of this whole expression is 3.281 so this is the, our final answer of this question and now here uh, at the last uh, I can give you an assignment which is uh, the same likewise of this question uh, and I hope so uh, you can do this problem uh, by yourself and you can give the answer of this problem uh, into the comment section so here you can solve this problem 5 to the power of x plus 3x is equals to 19 so this is your assignment and you can solve this problem for the values of x okay and you can gi uh, give the solution of this problem into the comment section and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos